Hello guys, uh, welcome to this tutorial and then today we are going to see uh, arrays and pointers in C programming. So in the first tutorial you've seen how uh, data types works, variable works and even along with their data types. So today we are going to see arrays. So arrays should acquit for like special variables because like in uh, uh, normal variables variable igomba kujira only one value. So if you reassign a new uh, value to that variable then the old one should be erased. So here then we are going to see how array works and even why do we need arrays in programming, mostly in C programming. So we know that sometimes you may be asked to do something, uh, for example, you may be asked to do an application that will be helping to the company to record the temperature of the year. So usually we are having how many days, like let me say 365. So that means we generate the variable day one, day two, day three kuza kuza kuri day to the other day that you want to go on then you understand how much time will it take you so then array rero nibinjibizegukemora as you know as you can see here kuri day one for example you can have like uh, any floating floating value and also to the second to the third till to the last one so that means we are having only floating values from those variables. So Murawuna nibi no jabu to karu mwanya mure more kujira ngu we kore kuvira yuko kuri bi chino chosu ju kriya tinga variable acho nibi no jaba vide bi then arrays in jos ashizi jagu chemor. So as long as those are uh, those values are the same, so we can use arrays. Nimba study zimero to zareva those structures in next uh, in next tutorials. So it will be like uh, the next in the next tutorial, tutorials from now. So now then, how arrays works and what are the arrays? So me, I'm every wizard as you can see. Then we are going to see like for example for from this so arrays here. You can say that it is a collection of data elements that are of the same type. So you can have a collection of integers, a collection of characters, a collection of tables, and so on and so forth. So the only constraint that will be fulfilled is that all of these collections of elements should be on the of the same data type so if, if it is not for the same data type then you have to go and use structures so here again you uh, the applications of the allies for example you have been given a list of test scores assume it is a class of 100 students and then you want to determine the maximum and the minimum score. Usually you can use the same method lab I used to you, then you can have student one, student two, student three, till to student a hundred. But imagine how much time will it take you. Then you can read a list of student names and rearrange them in alphabetical order by sorting using arrays. Also given the height measurement of students in a class output, uh, output the names of the students who are in uh, to rather than the average so you can see that uh, usually there should be hari sacrifice gomba kutukora kujira ngo uinjiza zile values if you are not using that array so then array mkona ibabu giye ni chunichu ya zikuche mura tujokuna no how can we declare an array so if you are having uh, like a uh, hundred students then you want, you want to insert those marks then you can declare the first one is the type or the data type the second one is the array name and the third one is the array size usually uh, the array size uh, should be uh, at least the number of the class that you want to or the at least the number of the values that you want to insert then you have to put this 100 or you can even put a thousand so for it donate difference no a thousand so in the memory it will uh, like okay let me 
raspberry this one so we know that how many bytes does a, an integer has so usually it is four bytes so this one also it is four bytes assume i'm starting from a 1000 address so that means the second one will be a thousand and four the third one will be a thousand and eight so you can see that all of them will be followed like that so assume array assume confit array Muruva Kuari is person Shogura Kuza reserving a Kuribi more Arikida Kurish will be a misusage of the storage. At Taribiza Air Numa Hano Visabako, Obuzi either the number of uh, values that you want to insert in the array. So this is what we call by the size. Then the array element are all values of the type of the of that type that will be that has been provided. So this is what we call array element. So maybe having 10, 20, 35, 65, 27. So those are the uh, those are the those are the elements of the array. So the size of the array is indicated by array size. So you can see here then you'll be providing the array size. Usually when you don't then it is a program. So uh, then how can we declare an array? So you go there in uh, C programming. Let me for me I'm using code block let me open my code block and then we see how we we can do it so this is what we call array declaration so then there's something that we usually uh, call subscribe uh, subscripting then uh, it declares an array of 10 integers assume this is the one to access the individual element we must apply subscribe uh, subscript i don't know whether it's subscript to a lay named r so that means you can subscript if you want to to, to access to the to the to the to the fifth element or to element number five then uguza providing the array name and then you provide the index where you want to you want to to access so uh usually this is a uh, subscripting i think right i'm not sure whether i'm not reading in in a bad way <clears throat> so subscripting is that way of uh, accessing to the arrays using its index so assume here i'm going to access to this array usually arrays are starting by zero uh, indexes are starting by zero so if i want to access to a number so assume here i'm having 10 20 30 so that's a these are the array elements or the values in that array so assume i'm having this one so let me put something here so these are the values so anybody check accessing a query 50 then i will have uh, we populate array assume this one is called array then it if i want 50 then if i want 50 then it is on index number four so assume this one it is the one that is been called array so you can see how you can access to these ones then you will be using those let me not subscriptions no subscri subscripting subscription subscription then this is subscripting <laughs> so then subscripting this is the example of subscripting so assume we are having those marks the max of 50 students then usually this is the initialization usually when you don't provide this one automatically implicitly the system assigned to zero to each and everything so that means for example if you are having a remy show you a very simple example if i'm having like int max and then i say my in my max i'm having only five students this five students if you do like this so that means that you are assigning zero to as the value of each and every element so sometimes you can even say i want int max you can say i want int max int max of five students 
then when you want to assign the values to them you only just uh, assume this one so if you do this so that means the value in the system usually the value are those ones plus the remaining then on the remaining it will be zero zero this is how the system works usually so then this is the example let me explore this example and then i will show you how to how we can do it so we are having the max then we are having my i and the size of the array so usually i can ask to the user to enter the size of the array so after scanning if this size of the array then you can now get each and every number in that group so after that you can also uh, print if those numbers so that means in order to, 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 to assign numbers to the array of ours, then we need to use that subscribing or subscribing in order to assign the numbers to it. Then Angai Chotuzatinelanichi assume like let me do like that application using my code block. So so like uh, let me have like my uh, my program opened like this, so let me include the studio. Let me have my int main. So this is usually my coding function, the function that will be calling each and everything. So from there, let me return. So usually, so this is what I'm going to use. So assume I want to <clears throat> I want to record the data of the student. Usually, what is that then? Is max. So let me say um, I want int array. So in my array, I want like a hundred thousand. But even if it is a hundred thousand, so we can also still accessing less than this uh, this storage. So let me say and we need i and j for example and also which one also like largest I may also need if I will be performing largest and also let me also declare this sum so we see where I will be using those variables so angari ushobora konyuruka mubwira nubwo so ba creating like this one ushobora gutuma bazanga humbwira plaintiff Gira Urasha Kuj is a banish banga. So enter the size of the LA. So well Maraki Mobaza, then you can take it. You can take that size in order to take it. We have some that we usually need to use. Scan if then percent eighteen. Then you will need to take that size. So usually let me get another variable which is called size of array. Then this is my percent size of array. After taking my size of array, then I may need a loop to take each and everything i is equal to zero then my i will be less than to the size of the array and also we increment my i then from here i may i may say here here can print if the cup of gear then enter all the values respectively from this size of this array then i can scan if only let me scan if we want to take all these numbers then 
uh, each and everything that will take I'll insert it in my array here I will pass I after taking everything then I can I can need another point another loop this is another loop for displaying so you can say let me know to use that one Then here I can say the entered numbers are then here other than print other than scanning if then I will I will print to the user what I am having. So you can have percentage. Then tab then here I will have my array as so you can see now here so you can have like those ones let me run and then I see what is going on so it is keeping me enter the size so it is not the six enter the size of the array until the values respectively okay then the size of the array let me say one five enter all values respectively that uh, they enter the numbers all these ones so you can see that now it is very easy you can have more than that file so you can say here enter the size of the of of, uh, of the array. So the user can say one to ten. Usually these are the ten numbers. So you can see that our array is there. So from here you can even search for the greatest number from that array. You can even search for any value from this array. So usually this is the array. Then uh, the subscripting you have seen that you can also scan if you can use the subscripting to either to receive the number to receive the value or to print out the value so then you can also display a function to display the the array content you know or uh, here to call you code a ham even just to be to be ham but here I can say you know I need uh, I want to create a way display this is my way display all then in my display all I will not need anything so here I can say other than doing this one other than doing this one then I can say no I need like this one so here I will need like int i that will be declared here and also let me say From here, let me call my program, my my function. Then from there, then here, so uh, here I may say I need or like an array. So this usually it should be provided as that one. So let me call it uh, array. Then I will also populate the size of array. So that size of array, I can say that neon chaka gutang. So here in display all that means I will need my int array. So in my int array also I may say yes like this and also and as a good channel and it's in the other channel even this the size of the array so let me call it like size of the array then uh for this int i then okay this is all right this is okay this is okay then i'll print it this array i so you can see now from here i will not need anything so 
let me say I want to enter the size of the array let me say 7 enter all the numbers with respect to the so they enter the numbers are those ones so you can create also a function for displaying usually we need because you could not go to the other the other lesson of creating functions we have seen that functions it is a way of dividing and conquering you can have a very big a big problem and then you say i want to divide this problem into smaller problems easy to solve if it was with any need to work with solving or if it's not to you should have solving and then while we hold is am we because it's so busy to was with any so usually this is it this is it uh then we can say okay in the shaka because i don't know which is the the largest the largest number the largest number from my array so usually all of them let me use functions so that we can it can even even be easy to see so let me say i need my int largest number my int largest number it will be an integer then it will return something so usually Nimbadi kushaka largest number. Ari bi nanza chenera, so nanza chenera mbese ni hii array ndi kushaka kuri kuramu, mbese yu array inga na gute, so this should be the parameters. Ano ichi ni chambere tu gumba kuhita. Nimbu fite a function, then that function of yours, mujuru kui hamagara. You have to remember how many arguments in the in the function definition. Kukungano ni mba chiza mwa argument ebjiri. Naja kuya magaranga magazo argument imwe. Chiraza kubichi wazo. So this why ugomba kuitao kubyo uye create njira changu kubyo uye. So let me say here I will need an int i. And also another integer which is called my largest. Then ni mara kujira this largest of mine. I can say largest. Of course, there's something at the end of the day. Okora, assume fit the bino. So it's in chamber and you could how we live and check the largest. That means I will declare uh, my my any value like largest. Then this largest of mine in the good and yes, I need a way more very one there. No, no, okay, 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 no, it has a greeting and an array of zero. We know that all indexing, you to look indexing, I will get zero. So this is like saying, Nitoza Kujira Muri Puenta to Raza Kubibona, even Jibini Hokufuga is the address of R. Usually the array is having the address of that uh, space declaration. Twawunya Yuko, a yo would declare in the array in how we show you call array, Muri array declaration, Shora Kujira like Shora preserving a spaces meza good. Even given usual in how we work. So it is so worker no co would be reserving a spaces a geranya. Neo Ushaka conjure the size of the array, Kubera Yukohano, Shora Kuhara, Jin, the variable Kahokipa. The minimum how the system do it, uh, do it, irefatika, ikai, ikai copia, take a cloning, ikayendiga shaka, and the hand hari, a spasi vide zeger and using ganana ya indu shaka, ha handi ya ridi, igai tehasib. Shatsuku gayuko nizimumuri disadvantage, disadvantages as a Zokoresha marries. So then let me continue with my, uh, with my register number. So then I will say, the same thing that I've said here, so it is that one. Let me copy this one because copying, okay. For this one, so here I will need an if. Yeah, I will need an if. James Chamberlain, once I go checking, I will check whether the array, <coughs> if the array i is greater than, 
my largest then hari kintu kimwe na tugomba kurebaho ntago ndi buze kwirwa njya gucheckinga kuri array i ya 0 kwa kwa array i ya 0 ntago ngiye kwicheckinga kwa bari kwiririza usa kuba ko nundi niyo na passinze kuri largest so this why hano i ndaza gutangirira kuri rimwe ntago ndi gutangirira kuri 0 rero nimba iyo array i iri greater than largest ni kindi gukore what will i do anyone can tell me yes that means I will take my largest it has a greeting gana with this RI. If you give it as a comeza could use it here, could use it and as a then in your mark so come a little of the Yuko. I will have my return. Then what will I return? I will return my largest. So the largest number it will be the one that will be that will be returned. Then, muri noza muri main main yange icyo nshobora kugenda ngakora nshobora kugenda ngata printing a if print if then the largest number is percentage d then i call my program my function my function is this one The register number then on my register number there should be some parameters now I'm gonna function if the parameter and who's passing them then the first parameter it has a call my array what is the second parameter does a good tension the size of my array so that's all let me see so here let me put another printf so usually this is it so this is equivalent to do like this so it is the same so if i run then my system enter the size of the array let me say i want eight numbers So usually the largest is this one. So you can see that in Hagarum or Ambris no one you mark for the system, here as a kureva which number which is the largest between the numbers in Jewe Mumuza Nasism. You can see that it is very good to use the arrays more than others, and then it is having some advantages over others. So here usually this is the program that we're doing, so we can also you can also refer to these codes in order to create your own. So also the array element, uh, we can also do some manipulations of uh, on it. So usually here we have used uh, C uh, C plus plus. Then here we are using C plus plus, but you can also use any like C programming on re. So you just go because we will be initializing arrays. Uh, I uh, initializing array with random value. Uh, how we do it? Uh, Sometimes you may say, I don't want to since I my values array and then if you come here, then you will come in uh, where you are scanning if then other than scanning if then you will say my array i then my array i is i'm gonna random <coughs> on my random to the modulus that is says of array like seven so you can see here and all the values respectively the enter the numbers are this one so you can see here no the system has given me the random numbers i'm not the one that has populated these ones so you can also use that one. This is very important. And I need to use so like, you may say I want it 100 things, 100 numbers. Then the system will print for me 100 numbers. So it is very good to use it because the system will help you much more. creating. So even if it is giving us some duplication, but we don't care. So as long as we want only to manipulate those data.
So usually this is it for arrays. Ariko hari chini chini chaa kato vuga vuga to ya decode code copy an array. You can use this one. So in order to copy the array, so you can use that one. And also he is something that finding the smallest. You can also as we have seen, to kabonye how can we find the smallest, the largest? Then also you can find the smallest number. The smallest index of the largest integer usually you can do it uh you can also shift the elements from one array to another then it will be very easy you can refer to these codes so usually what i wanted us to understand is a matter of uh let me also introduce to you uh, the two dimensional arrays Two dimensional arrays usually it is an array that is working like this. Uh, you may say uh, I need this uh, the number of columns like that one and so this okay two three let me say three two this is it let me say that we are having the first array which is this one and the second array which is there so uh, here you may say let me say here I'm having one two Three, four, five, six. So let me say like that, and then here yeah, I'm having like those numbers and uh, eight. So I don't fit the original fit the area. I'm very angry. Fit the image. I'm going to get to connect that and get that and that too. So this is equivalent. This is equivalent to saying I I need an int array. And my array will be having the dimension will be two and three. So the initialization of it, how the initialization will be done. The initialization is what is having to it is have we are having to two ways of initializing it. Uh, let me use my code block here. Let me say in my main. So in my main, let me say multi-dimensional arrays. These arrays and is a multi-dimensional array, so you can have my int multi-dim. In my your multi-dim, you can say I need for two and three. So how can you initialize them? In, in order to initialize them so you can be having like this is the first way so usually this is it that this is the second way so you can say here I need one two three four five six then <clears throat> how can you access to them usually this is the uh, let me show you we are usually doing it. Yes, this is it. So no kuvuga mudi ushaka ku accessing then you can have yeah I need yeah, so this is zero, this is one. So usually this is <coughs> in low row zero. And hano e abari row nimusha ku accessing kuri ka tano ushatse kuvuga yuko uraza ku ufite this multi dim of viewers gatano iri kuri row ya kangahe gatano iri kuri row ya kabiri so row ya ya buni index 1 not 2 then uh, which column then column 1 
so you can see now if you print like this number let me do it then if you print like the number then you will see that balance will be having so if you do print it the number percentage t then multi-mary my multi-dimensionary so if you print like this then five will be printed to you it is like the same then you can also search for any number but here you will need two loops you will need a loop to loop for you here kando kaza kuchinera na loop yoku za kujirahano nimbusha kuenda kushira mo hii mebare there is a way you can do it uh, let me say the first thing that you will need is this for loop i is equal to zero i rest than all equal to two because i need two then i will and i have my i plus plus then from here also i will need another for loop let me say j is equal to zero then j less than three where are you how many columns do i have i have three then j plus plus then from here i will scan if that's a bit of then percentage g then i will i will save those numbers then here it will be i and j so the same printing so you can see in order to receive those numbers from the keyboard then you can use this method so usually this is it for arrays and uh, i think you have got how arrays works so then uh you can also have what we call a multi-dimensional array not this two-dimensional array usually how multi-dimensional arrays works so you can say i need like that multi dimensional array copy paste so usually how can you create this one how can you what is the definition of this uh, of this structure that you are seeing on the board it is this one you know uh paste this is for like int r which is having two and also here we'll be having another two that means the first one this is for how many uh is it as insurancing guy like that. So then it is at the laws, each for each laws, colon is So usually I can ask you a question. Can you please create uh, an array? Uh, a multi-dimensional array was a good when the how this number of arrays is with the columns is in an then and now na na laws is in an so this is it for arrays i think this is enough then we can we are need to zako on manya to raza with a dukora practices so let's go to pointers then what are pointers pointers in a bit Pointers in each in a body, boy, sabazi, arico kenshi, kuchumba, kubachi menu, yoji college, kanichi was. So now I'm going to take you through these pointers to see how pointers works. So usually pointers, a pointer is a reference to another variable, memo location in a program. It is used to change a variable inside a function or reference parameters. It is used also to remember a particular um, name of a group. So let me give you an example for. Uh, example here so let me say i'm having like this table of mine so in this table of mine this is let me call it uh let me call it the memory so this is my memory usually so here i'm having my int i int a b and c so usually these are my variables these are the variables that i've created are we together 
then these are the variables na creatins like na jimfutamfata anga hadeni nyasayeno inga ho makumnyaviri na kaviri chuminarimwe then na mirongune na kan these are the variables but I can still chubura kubuga ngore kano na ho nda shaka go saving the memo tuziku uri chini chose a whole system a whole system allocating the the space Jango how to create in the variable we have after the address now we are locating a channel of booking each one but you will tell it to change it after any mail or a mutual show up with a security charge on but I put the number the primary key a charge on but it's just a cookie to come back wow 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 kings no we're gonna what to assume in a you could the address to get to use a cool address is an app so if it is this one is a like in our if it is integer we know that we integers as if is as if the four bytes so that means this one it will be a hundred and a thousand and four this one will be a thousand and eight so that means then hano chowra kuzan habu ganda shaka u creating another pointer is a holding the address of a so that means i can here come and then int ptl so assume i want this ptl then this ptl will be holding the address we're bothering the address of a how is this represented in the memory so angandaji is creating another pointer it is an it is a point of mine which is called ptr this ptr for example here if they can go go to get a lot of cartridges they could be cool and be very or zero are you could be which one could you have to focus in the honey in the the value of that one so it, this with the value usually it is not the value as this one if we were to go more user out of the key with the clear the address of a the address of a that means here it has a copy fit the edge home it is you will be able to tell us a cover it like the address area a no gonna you a variable yeah to this point all of ours is a with it then no job printing if you say print if Ura musujia ugu printinga then Waranjiza uga printinga The value of PTL That means ni nda muka printinga the value of PTL Achindi viribu ume urete makumnya aviri na kaviri So let's do it, let's practice it and then we see Icho tukumba kumenya mbele yoko tutanjira nuko pointer Aba iwi hold in the reference changwa Yeah the reference of another variable Usually then uh muri array you to the address jungle pointer will give array is a pointer to raza kuyibona how is it so muri mwanya wo tujye kureba hamwe ibintu bigera kuri bitatu icya mbere nde basic ariyo variable declaration serialization or pointer addresses pointer parameters returning value and also casting pointer then we are going to see also arrays and pointers Idea arrays and simple pointers are passing as parameters. We do show up passing as parameters. Mama funks, mama funks here. Then to raza no kurebera kuri dynamic memory allocation. Ariyo karok free malok rearok. Na dynamic two dimensional arrays allocation and then unsquare allies. So if you need to do kurebera homo ru imanya utoya to sigara nye. So usually the basic of the point is this one. You may have like this variable v. Then variable 15 g then i can create a pointer that will be holding the address of it that means the pointer ptl and have this and i'm going to the address is an equation and i'm so this is why we are saying here that variables are allocated at addresses in computer memory addresses depends on computer operating system yes so no kufuga address it was a cool man i got your address here go around to run into the machine now Bitter when I register now hot quarter two years Kuri memory arch Then we get a one operating system How it is assigning addresses to variables Then it in the chat can be ready to come back around the point of a label definition How can we define a point as well? Here you can have if you have this star p star ni Ni meta character equal is kwa muri C programming to represent a pointer to create a pointer and also to access to the value of that pointer so that means you may be having something like that in order to declare then we do teach you to get a complex example complex example usually is being used on uh on pointers when you want to declare a pointer of a multi 
all add two dimensional arrays and not quite it to when I you go like uh, so I'm gonna read your order can say better care from what she church was a church well I can create another one what can one don't actually much I'm as a cool shall I see any so let me delete all of these ones so usually I can say okay print if size of the arrays this one's also then different of them so let me say the into the number L then from here let me print if this one so usually this is the one that we had but here if they are printed in percentage D then here I will not need this one so usually this one worked even give you a correct the size of the let me say for so you can still having those ones so let me say I'm, I need this ones so like this okay enter the size of the array let me say full let me say eight enter all the values respectively so usually these are the enter the numbers then uh, each uh, array is a pointer usually uh, if they want to print so let me say here let me commit to this uh, commit uh, comment this one let me make a comment on this ones uh, okay so how when you're gonna create into this array of mine let me try to print this array let me do it print if like this let me do the print if then percentage d then i print only the array you will see what will be what it will become in so here you enter the size of the array for example three so you can see that here there is a number that is coming we should talk about this number it is the address of the first element so if we are having here then me or okay this one so let me do this then i press one so that means you know it item hana the following address so you can see now let me say five so sorry i've forgotten to put like uh let me put in why uh, the integer of mine it is only having four bytes when we when we only access to this one then it is also like having that pointer so you can also create a pointer here let me create an int pointer this is my pointer so in order to create a pointer usually you should be having that one so here then you can say i want my ptr to be equal to array so in Vugangu, my ptr is equal to array which has called well, this is a pointer and this is an array are you going to have the array since specifying the subscription number then the address of the first element let me show you so that you can understand assume this is my array so assume this is my array then i'm having this one also as well so then ninda mukambuzengo this is my array array and then they took r this is my array i nimvugango array and Nanjizan has an appropriate thing. Amo one, Iram Wemogari. 
Remember that arrays tangera kuri zero, one, two, three. So ninda mukanje kavu gango, ninda mukanje kavu gango R one shatukua kuangani zero then one irazaku itima eleven. Aruko ninda mukambu zango R gusa, tangu array gusa without passing the subscription number, then irazaku man the address of the first of the first of the first uh, element, address of the first element of that array. Why? To begin with your long to fit our very comorongo, Baban Nabu, Kujirongo Fate, Nabu Visa, Sabayu Kujenda was on Guba Fate Kuwa Chachir. A who go each in Zakora, Nuko, no Fatumi Muri, who was with Ababa Fashkura Kuas were linked on the same link. So Nima Bangaro, the system, Kuera, uh, the capability of the system, if at the audio only first number, you are Mazuk Fata that first number, if I fashe the whole array. So if we print, let me say here, let me print also. Let me print PTR. PTR. Then if I print my PTR then, sorry. Yeah, also let me put a new line so that it will be very visible. No, let me not put, let me put on the so let me say I need five. Then you can see here, each chino, I'm going to be So from here, then you can see that uh, having that pointer, it is also like having, it is also having like the array. So usually this uh, this is it. This is what we mean by the array. Then uh, here pointer returns. Okay. Then here we can have this function. Let me usually let me do this function. Let me do this program. This is a program that will be helping us to find marks. But that method we can be having pointer returns values. So Ushwara Kujiri method like this method. So for the sake of the time, let me copy them. And uh, paste them here as then I will comment these ones of mine. So then assume I need this find max, then it is having array y to a 90j to a n, then my i, then float the max, the max and it has a na na value, the address of the the first the first number more array and then nimbarero wa mobare uruta uh to use a uruta max, you should of star good I don't need the pointer but I need the value of that pointer. Then Hanganda Zagita Bugarero the max is I think an hour mobile then I'm ten returning the max. So if I'm having like this one, so this max and I think easy, then Ninja Guhamagara the other the other find max, then I am gara is a high passing them even the numbers that will be populated there. It's because of thought then you can see that I'm able to do it then you can have this 5.1 this is the maximum so it is the maximum uh and I when I put a maximum of mine it is also like that one it is also this max a and also the a4 which is a4 0 1 2 3 then 4 so this is why it is coming like that then here you can say I want on also the max max a to be equal to max a plus one. That means it is not going to display 4.1, but it will be displaying to us 5.1. Are you seeing what uh, what is going on there? So what you usually no kuri pointer or show up incrementing gacha could decrementing the value of your pointer e pointings. So this is it. Mujo of truth from Gozor Guchumba, Ushura Guendu, when very much home. I can have a window to change a Mokotinjam, can we get a winch a Moku Kumba Kufit your reference? So 
then what else did I, uh, didn't I say? So a uh, relationship between then pointers and arrays. We can see when an array is declared, then the compiler locates the base address of the sufficient amount of storage to contain all the elements of an array in contiguous memory location. The base address is the location. Now, if you create an array, uh, system it is memory storage, it is creating memory storage. Then the array array it refers the address of the first of the first element. So like here, nimbo fitanga, nimbo creatins like this is array x. We have shots of Gayuko, is in a x, and change shots of Google is a point, I pointing a curry first element. Shots go for that x, it is only this thousand. So no Gayukovuga x, and Hokovuga, the address of x is zero. Are you going to need your home? When you say the address of x is zero, this means it is this address. So maybe we will be wish. Then uh, here, then we can have like this example when you say xi is also a saying x, uh, the address of x plus one, and also it is as the, not x plus one but i, it is also a saying this one, and also a saying this one. So, she's a of you saying even we may cover you caught when you can navigate, we can even do the swap, we can also check the biggest using pointers. And you can return something. This is what we've seen here. We never to Mazakuana Mokan. So, like here, we are returning this number, then we are returning that pointer. That pointer, but that point is having a value. So, usually, this is it. And uh, there are also some mathematic operations. So, we're going to go to the Kurino Zanikuri. Uh, nekuri arithmetic operations to go on back with under channel where you go like here assume we are having this uh, array of hours if they remove the regret to the negatano they don't get the point a chain a point a i usually i'm going to show because i have a point a i is after the address of x and so we're going to use it if i take the address here kabiri then j is as if i take your can you should go back with it is a if i take that the address you could get on so here, ninja kuvugango printing j minus one. Usually in how go is a fata yigata no ni rangi su kure mo kabiri. Agu chini za kora is a tiri wa mbese j if te kanga if te kane a if te ga rimi teni yu is a kora dis automatic operations of the parameters passed through that point. So if sabu kanga is a tima is a tima gata tu. So niyo niyo mamba nga tu gumba kuwa serious and even uh very uh to come up with a channel clear you go to show what a quick quiz you could sang at we at we wish a bit of an azira operation as a question is got more pointers so then here pointers applies them to two dimensional arrays then usually we have seen that when you want to 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 assign pointers quickly on your value then you can do it like that if you have one you know so you can also still still show up we got a Let me remove this one and also okay let me this uh, stays so usually if you want to do something here what can you do then if you want to do something here there is a angat kawanyoko you can declare an array that is multi-dimensional for example, let me say I need this int r. Let me say I need the array, which is the multi dimensional. Then I'm having two and three. Then in my array, let me say I need to have, I want to have like one, two, three, four, five, six. So usually, e declaration, nichimuna declaration, yoko vugango. I am having the first one, two, three. Then as I'm here, I'm here again. The four, five, six. So usually these are the same. If you do anything, you know, cause of the fact that I can be used to And then I'm going to show you how to get the shaka pointer. I can say I need an int PTL. This should be a pointer. 
then a point and you want to discuss of the one the circle quiz of fata r usually to to fit the only single dimensional it qua because of iraconda and here let me say let me see whether it can also work i recall it chance to knock it up for good condition sure i could have some compilation errors percentage t then from here you say i need this ptl to be printed so usually if you print this one we'll be seeing some warnings here down we see some warnings so there is a return here usually it is in main so sorry and the code did an analysis and and the code return in the normal cattle usually it is working why so usually it is a it is a matter of the system and then here what should i do here is a matter of putting three because that one would be that three so what is the difference what is the meaning of this one so no kufuka yuko angaha is a bifite injini ptl plus one and this ptl plus two so this is usually like zero the index is zero yeah ptl this is the index one yeah ptl so <coughs> So uh, usually here, what are we going to do is like this one. So first do like this, and then let me see whether it can work like this. So usually, yes, it is working. So sometimes we tell when under check and a compiler, where you call machine and then we call it more So far for here it is working. But here, what you can see is that. Uh, uh, if you do this PTR right, it has called your yeah, yeah, uh, warning your yeah, incomplete pointer type, then it should be created as an array of pointers. So that means it will be also as an array of pointers of these three numbers because of on each and everything we have in three, three numbers. So let's do some exercises. This is the time for exercises. Then I think after doing some exercises on arrays and pointers, then we'll be able to understand much more. What is array? What are the arrays? How arrays and pointers are relating each other? How can you copy everything, something that you want from one array to another using pointers? And how can you deal with them? And also some allocation that you can do, memory allocation, either malloc, alloc, so, and others. So thank you guys, thank you for watching today's tutorial and I think you can also leave a comment in uh, the subscribe and uh, the box below, the comment box, then we will try to solve all of them. Take care.